Just about two years ago, Injury Reserve dropped what is now known as their final project by the time I get to Phoenix. At the time, Groggs had just passed away, the, the third member of the group, and the two remaining members of the group seemingly want to continue to make music. At the time, they weren't sure what was going to happen, what their plans were, um, but now they have decided to kind of put a capstone, of, uh, an end to Injury Reserve as we know it, and form a new group titled by a storm by a storm is a pretty familiar name if you listen to by the time i get to phoenix because it was also the title of the last song on the album by a storm which was like a goodbye track to grogs with this announcement and new group they put together a video for both the track by a storm as well as the first by a storm single double trio so, without further ado, we're, we're going to get into it. Let's fucking listen. Uh, I'm not going to go too much or focus too much on the song by Storm, but we'll see if anything comes up in the meantime. You know, re-listening to the track by Storm kind of makes me wonder what we're going to get with the group because this is a very more experimental sound from Injury Reserve. I mean, they, they do that stuff anyway, but... Maybe it's something, maybe that's what we're going to hear on their Double Trio song. You know what, as a, as a going away song and video, like the song itself was already hard to listen to. But then the video, like you can see, they set up this projector screen, they're playing videos, they're, they're, they're playing all the good times they had together, and you can kind of see Richie with a T in the bottom there, just laying on a bed, curled up. Like, I, I feel it. And I guess this is now the intro to the By a Storm song, Double Trio. That sounds kind of creepy, but cool. Let's rock with it. Quietness in the skies is something I won't take. It's time to break the silence, only time can wait. The pain that got me wide awake. Time to break the silence, only time can wait. Shit gon' repeat. Fuck, do a delay, delay. Pain got me wide awake. And you're, you're going through the grief, um, but eventually I was going to just be like, hey man, just, just get up off your ass. Just deal with it. <laughs> Which is not necessarily what you want to hear when you're dealing with shit like that. No. Oh? Best route shit, it's time to break the silence, only time can wait. Shit, gon' repeat, all we do is delay. I'm not sure if he's necessarily talking about himself or just talking about people in general or maybe Grogs. It's like he mentioned some some pain and like, you know, Grogs is probably dealing with some shit. But then, you know, he also just says he was unconscious, the pain done brought him out of the rest now. So Maybe he's talking about himself and Parker, like the, the, the stuff that they've been dealing with. Because I think in general, they've been pretty quiet over the last couple of years. So they, I don't know, maybe they're just like, no, no, now's the time. We've we finally woken up. We're finally back at it. We're, we're going to talk about shit now. And this might just be the only song that they're doing to address, not necessarily them not being here, but just what's been going on. I mean, I don't know. I don't necessarily expect a full album of them talking about this sort of thing. Hey. 
So I'm I'm still a little iffy on how I feel about the um his vocals here, if that makes sense. Like the it, they feel strained, which is kind of maybe the intention. Um, but I don't know that it would necessarily be something that I want to hear all the time, to be completely honest. Um, but I, I, it makes sense here. I'll, I'll let, I'll let that. I'll try to keep it down over here. I think we know, I think we understand what the, uh, the vocal there was supposed to be. I appreciate that they continue to carry on the more experimental sort of sound because like you you might not be able to clearly hear what he's saying but he's definitely rapping and I mean I have genius pulled up too just so I know exactly what's happening here um I like it I like it but it definitely sounds like this is a different it's like a different um a different song almost <laughs> And then we get a jazz break at the end. <laughs> um, that was a wild ending to that song. Um, we got some jazz and then it turned into death grips for a moment. I mean, I guess Injury Reserve has, well, yeah, I guess Injury Reserve was kind of in that same lane. People liked, uh, like the, people who liked the death grip sound but wanted something a little bit more uh, tangible <laughs> and something that they understand more. Um, yeah, I think they would go more towards injury reserve or clipping. Anyways, this was a very long video. It was like 11 minutes long, uh, I will say. I mean, the first three minutes of the show, three and a half minutes, were a video for the track by Storm, um, which, again, was the last track on the... by the time I get to Phoenix Project. And the video there was really nice and important to have, I feel, because it was like kind of a goodbye to grogs and it was a really good way to remember him and it also led really well into the um the by storm double trio song which based on the name could be talking about the two of them are parker and richie um being that they are now a duo but they're still technically a trio because grogs is still in their souls and hearts maybe something like that um but as I was saying, the video translates very well into that next song because, as you saw, or as you may have seen, the By Storm track had the uh, the clips from their good times together, and then as it started ending, you saw Richie with a T just laying on a bed in front of the projector screen in fetal position, essentially. You know, he's sad. He's He's been dealing with the emotions. Like, it... it it happens um but as the song begins it's like okay well you got to just get up your ass and like just do shit like you like yes this happened but we got to keep it pushing we can't we can't dwell essentially which again not necessarily the way that everyone wants to deal with loss and grief um but if that's the way that he had to get himself right i mean by all means um but i, I don't think that's necessarily what he's trying to say there like it, it just Parts of what um, the lyrics were saying kind of made it feel like that. Um, with that said, though, with the Double Trio song, I I understand it, but I don't necessarily... I didn't really care for the song. Like, like I, I listened to it one time, basically. And after that, I think I, I'm good. In, a context, in the context of an album, it might be really good. We'll have to just kind of wait and see to see what else they have coming. Um, I don't know if these vocals that Richie's trying to do are going to carry on into whatever they're doing next. Um, if that is the case, he might need a little bit of work, but maybe that's just the charm of it. Maybe, maybe that's intentional. Maybe it's not supposed to be perfect. I mean, here it just sounded like he was being very emotional and vulnerable so it kind of worked out and it worked out in um in my mind where it's like okay yeah that's totally fine that makes sense um but you know we'll just have to wait and see as a video i was a little confused not gonna lie uh, towards the end because um, like i understand it was on like he was watching the videos he was on the bed um 
maybe it was like in a theater and like they're just like okay well now we're just gonna get ready to perform i'm not sure um but with all that said i am curious to see what happens next what they've got coming up next because clearly they're making music now or still um we just have to wait and see and see what else they've got coming uh let me know in the comments below what you thought of this return from richie and parker uh as by a storm and uh while you're down there like and subscribe to see more ramblings and content like this thank you for watching and please stay safe out there